Hi, this screencast is going to walk through placing web forms as blocks on your website. My name is Jacob Rockwitz. I'm known as JRockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. So what are web form blocks? Well, web form blocks are blocks that display a web form. And blocks in Drupal are just this concept of this thing, this element that you can place throughout your site. And usually it has configuration and it gets rendered. And in this case, we're rendering a web form. And web form blocks make it easy to include a web form within layouts and panels anywhere on the site. Um, you know, they also, you can place it on any page on the site and control where you want it in the header, footer, sidebar, main content. Um, and yeah, you can also control where and when it's attached. And that's kind of two different nuances. You can place it anywhere, but you can decide what pages it's attached to. And then go anywhere. And this is just the UI. And we'll walk through it. And this important concept is you can also control the context of the web form and, and decide hide and show the block based on the current request web form. So you can actually attach a web form to a submission and track data for that submission. So the example I use, and there's a demo of an, of an application evaluation system. And that means you have an application form that someone fills out. But then when someone goes to review that submission, you can attach, using a block, an evaluation form to the bottom of that view of the application. And they can say, I like this person, I dislike this person. And there is an example of that demo. There's a demo application evaluation system that uses that concept that you can look at. You can even have blocks that display submission limits and say this form has 10 more submissions available on only certain web forms. And I'll, I'll demo this. It's clean install. I'm going to add the contact form to every page on the site. I'm going to go over here in the sidebar. Sidebar second. I'm going to place a web form. And you can display web form submission limits, but I'm going to focus just on placing a web form. And here's a web form. I'm going to change it to contact because that's what I want to place. We have to select the form contact. Once again, you can pass default submission data. This is where you can control the visibility of when this form will be displayed. You can say what content types, what pages, roles, and web form. I'm not going to go too heavily into this, but you can even control the context related to which web form is this web form going to be displayed on. That's a big nuance. You can say, you know, if how are you going to get it from the URL, what submission, so submissions for that web form, whether you're looking at, so you could say only submissions for the demo application. This is a very tricky nuance. That's why, by the way, there's demos to walk through and get more familiar with these settings and see how they're working. For now, I'm just adding it to every page. And I add this contact form. It's down here. I'm going to go to the site. So here's the contact form. This is on the home page. I'm going to fill it out. And there's some you know, dummy content that I'm going to click through. I'm going to also fill it out here. So I'm submitting this form throughout the site. It, this is a nuance I keep going through on the site. So we're on this content. Let's go back up to the home page. So I'm basically making multiple submissions. I'm providing feed, feedback or contact information on different pages on the site. I'm going to do it one more time. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to actually jump into the results. And what happens is when you attach, when you place that web form as a block on your site, it starts tracking where you're submitting it from. And it essentially just created a feedback form because we now know what content someone was looking at when they submitted this form. There's lots of other advanced uses that you can think of. It's a very simple one. Basic feedback, give me feedback on this content and have it throughout your site. And this can be applied more to anything. It doesn't have to be nodes. It actually tracks the URL. So any page can be tracked. Um, that's pretty much it for web form note, um, blocks, sorry. They're very similar concepts, so that's why I'm, I'm kind of stuttering there. And I, I think you got to explore both and see which is right for you. And, and, you know, some exercises for web form blocks, you know, place a contact form in every page. And, you know, you could create a, a feedback form and experiment with that and look at it. You can even take that feedback and apply it to every form and just go through and, and see what you can do with it. Um, that's it for now. You can learn more about me on jrockwoods.com. 
Uh, I hope you have fun playing with the web form module and take care.